Hey, it's Nate Hansen from Hansen Aerial Photo. Just wanted to update you on a couple of things with regard to the Mavic 3, some things I learned from you in the comments, as well as a little bit about what I've been seeing as far as the crashes in the Fly app that I'd mentioned a couple of videos ago. First off, great comments. I've really been happy about everything that you guys have shared as far as tips and tricks for better GPS lock. Uh, I saw one user that suggested going ahead and then taking off and staying stationary in the, in the same area um, while you're waiting for those GPS satellites to come in and get the lock. Uh, I tried that last time I was out. I've had a couple of trips, and uh, you know what? I liked it a lot. The one caution I would say, if you are going to take off before you do have your dozen satellites, the home point will not get updated until you actually do have those come in. So don't fly off too far, or you may have your home point set someplace you don't expect it. What I wanted to talk a little bit about tonight is actually memory cards. You'll recall on a couple of my videos as I started using my Mavic 3, I had complaints about the Fly app locking up after taking shots and sometimes even crashing. Well, a little story, a little backstory here. Uh, five years ago, when I started flying my first Maverick Pro, I went out and I bought two memory cards, Samsung Evo Selects, uh, rated at U3 for pretty decent transfer speeds. And I used those the whole time I flew my Maverick and also my Mavic 2 Pro. I rotated them for wear balancing, load balancing, that kind of thing. But when I started using those cards in the Mavic 3, I realized that because I'm transferring more data in my raw shots and also with my video, um, it wasn't keeping up. So the app itself was locking up mainly because of the amount of time it was taking to write the data to um, these memory cards. So I went ahead as a test and picked up a new memory card. I've now got a SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, still rated U3, but also um, V30. And I've been testing with that. And I think possibly, even though my other cards were rated about the same, the difference is it's a brand new one. And so there probably aren't bad sectors. And so what's happening is data is transferring successfully, the card is filling up, everything is looking good, and the app is staying stable. I've been out, I think, two or three times since then. So I guess what I'm saying is the memory card makes a big difference as far as the performance of the app, um, the performance of writing your data from your, your still shots, also from your videos, to the card. So you, you may see some lockups if you have older cards that have got some bad sectors or maybe even just cards that are not fast enough. Watch out for that. It was certainly something that was causing me some problems. Anyway, just a little tip from me to you. Check your memory cards. Even if they were rated as fast enough when you bought them, you may have upgraded your drone or you may have worn them by flying a lot of flights in cold temperatures, hot temperatures, all kinds of conditions, making it so that their ride speeds probably have degraded over time. Get some new ones, fly with your new drone. I think you'll be much happier and uh, hopefully you'll have good experiences out there. Um, thanks again for watching and happy flying.